eight voracious beasts born from eight restless nights. Four nails piercing the flesh of the sinner. One prayer for the summoned called by this song. Tis perhaps the countdown to oblivion for the once proud city of London. Tis perchance her inhabitants last dance alone to face death and pestilence. Confronted by the eerie and unknown, mortals became desperate for answers. A flock's flight makes for an omen, the falling of a star, a dire presage. Turning to priests for interpretation when there was no reason to be found. When religion failed, men turned to science. I saw them build such vain cities, crafting machines made for endless war. New questions flourished as old answers withered. What is darkness but lurking sun? What is wall but enslaved stone? What is glass but tortured sand? What is song but a call to arms? What is hate but jilted love? What is life but death? Pending. Well, that was a nice introduction, guys. But today we're going to be playing Vampire. Um, so, yeah, let's get straight into it. Since the apple was plucked from the sacred tree, mortality was believed to be God's punishment. A righteous snare to keep mankind from ascending to the stars. They were all so wrong. Death is not a wicked thing, nor some holy retribution. A true punishment would be to never know its sweet kiss. Awaken from the harshness and be born once more. Oh, no. 
up. It's actually kind of real. No! Please, a moment, let me explain! These patrols are after me! Stupid beast! No, no, don't shoot! This is a nightmare! I need to get out of here! This can't be happening. Um, yes, it is actually. Over there! There's one of those birds. There's one of them. No, please, stop! I mean you no harm. What's going on? Oh, Mary. What have I done? What's all this about? Shit, where'd it go? No choice. Who are you? Stupid beast! I need help. Die, you fucking leech! <laughs> Please, listen to me. I can't make any sense of this. Shut up, beast! Who are you? What is this all about? Ah! ah what in God's sake? I'll do the rest ah, of the job. Ah, ah, just, just leave me! Ah, 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 ah. The sun. It feels like it's burning me to the bone. <coughs> I need to find somewhere to hide. Let me go! <coughs> to find shelter. Is anybody there? What is this place? The place seems abandoned. I should be safe enough here.
Mary, I'm sorry. Whoever did this to us, I will find them. That's just disgusting. Wait. This one's dressed up fancy. Let's run through his pockets. Picking the dead's pockets? Are you serious? I've still a rent to pay. He's got no more responsibilities. What's this? Go watch. Beautiful it is. We fancy it and share the takings. <laughs> I suppose we are undertakers. <laughs> now, give me an eve. That's impossible. Hmm. Well, I guess he died, and you're back to watch back, so I guess it's a win-win for you. Check on upstairs. So much to accomplish. Oh. I still have so much left that needs doing. And that's how he became a vampire. And that's just sad. Oh! That's just unfortunate. He drunk himself, I guess? And then shot himself. to leave and now no. there's time I can save him that's the enemy coming the orders are to evacuate the hospital <sighs> done he'll live and now what we fight killing is a hell of a lot easier than healing Oh, no, it never got easy. You can pause and read each one of these paragraphs if you want to. Uh-oh. Well, 
simple thinking only. No! Oh, how are you not dead? You should have died, you just shot yourself with the heart. Bro, you bled out. You should be dead. This is absolute madness. I've lost touch with the real. Madness it is. As mad as the moon. Montaigne's blinding sunlight into a glowing flesh. Hideout beds allow you to evolve and rest. Spend experience points to level up and improve vampire some Auto Fankery cost 10. Recovery is 3.0. You drain your own blood to heal normal and aggravated damage instantly. Hmm. Hmm. Aggression. Claws, Blood Spear, Shadow. Okay. Oh, that's it. I must find him to understand what I have become. Where is it? It's closed. These people want me dead. I need to leave now. Here's the leech. Here! My head's spinning. Wait! Come on, you coward! It's locked. I'm still in Southwark. I must reach the West End. Die, Fermi! Over there! It's one of them!
So we took a massive big break. We fought a boss. This is the boss. Um, I did show it on camera, but my clumsy self forgot to save the clip. So I cannot show that in the video. But this guy is getting help. We just saved this him. This poor okay. creature can't be my maker. Could it be some subspecies of vampire? I must find a place to analyze the blood. I cannot enter. Where are we headed? We're on our way to the Pembroke Hospital. It's just across the canal. They'll have a bed for poor Mr. Hampton. William was... What manner of creature was he? Predator, prey, villain, and victim. Who can say? The important thing is that he's been stopped. Duly noted. And the woman? What... Who is she? What woman? Well, don't play me for a fool. You used me to locate that... Skull, you must know who she is. And I thought you were gentlemen. You shouldn't talk about a lady behind her back, but I will tell you she values her privacy. <laughs> were London as peaceful as she appears from the middle of the canal? If only that were the reality of the situation. To be honest, I've always tried to avoid this part of town. Pembroke Hospital is the last bastion between the rest of London and the epidemic. The flu has decimated the East End, and the war still rages. Welcome to the front lines of a plague. This is where you work, Dr. Swansea. I am the administrator of Pembroke Hospital. I thought you were here in service of your mysterious order, the Brotherhood of... Of St. Paul's Stole, yes. But first and foremost, I'm a man of science. A physician, like yourself, Dr. Reed. How, how do you know who I am? No need for modesty. You are Dr. Jonathan Reed. A surgeon of some caliber and renown, if I'm not mistaken. You are correct, sir. I knew it! I had my suspicions. But when you took the blood sample from the corpse of poor William, I was certain. Dr. Reed. Marvelous. Have we met? I attended three of your seminars before the war. I have the utmost admiration for your research. And what a turn of fate. England's most esteemed blood specialist returns to London a vampire. <sighs> that word again, from a so-called man of science. I understand. Traditionally, the role of science is to refute myth. But when myth walks among us, the Brotherhood of St. Paul has dedicated its purpose to their study. There's so much for you to learn. Of that, you are right. Well, then let me be blunt. Join my staff at Pembroke Hospital. As a physician. I suspect you'll not find a better post of employment to contemplate your uh, predicament. This is sudden. I was returning home to see my sickly mother. But alas, that was before contracting this... affliction. Dr. Reed. Take a moment to consider. The post would be for the night shift, providing a good explanation for your absence during daylight hours. 
You'll be adequately reimbursed, and have a place to hide. I even had the forethought to bring some clean clothes. So, what do you say? It seems I have little choice, but yours is a generous offer, so I thank you. Brilliant! Oh, Jonathan, this is one for the book, and the beginning of a beautiful friendship. <laughs>